welcome back knitters. I'm Jana with Pearl Together and this episode is part two of our Brioche Basic Beanie Knit Along. Okay, so in this little tutorial, we're going to learn how to do decreases so we can shape the crown. And if you'll notice, it's got these cool little gathers because it decreases very, very quickly. It's only about three rows. So make sure you have the heights that you want before you start the decreases because it'll round a little bit, but it's not gonna add any height at all. So make sure you Either knit it high enough to do the fold over. If you want to have the fold over brim for some extra warmth, make sure you do that. Or go ahead and knit it straight and just make sure it's tall enough to cover your ears or however you want it to be. I want to give a hearty and public shout out to Ruby, Mandy, and Melody. They're my three newest patrons. Thank you so much for supporting Pearl Together. We couldn't do it without you. If you'd like to learn how you can become a patron and see the rewards I'm offering in trade for your pledge of support, head on over to www.patreon.com forward slash Pearl Together. All right, let's get to it. So in the portion of the pattern where it says crown decreases as followed, you're going to want double pointed needles if you're working on a small circular or if you're magic loop, you're good to go. So the first thing we're just going to do is main color brioche knit just once. So we're just going to go in and brioche knit, which is just knitting with its yarn over like we've been doing all along. Then repeat brioche knit two together, which means you're going to knit the stitch that you would normally slip. You're going to knit that with the brioche brioche knit. So in fact, you're going to knit together all three of these loops. This is considered one stitch. Remember your brioche knit or your bark is considered one stitch because they are always together. The yarn over and the knit stitch is always together. So this is a brioche knit two together. Pretty simple, huh? And what that does is it's going to keep the main color on top. So you've just covered up the stitch that you would have normally slipped. So round one indicates that you're going to brioche knit one then brioche knit two together and repeat from the asterisk. So we're just going to brioche knit two together all the way around, ending with a knit one, which will be the last purl stitch. So we're going to carry on. Like I said, this decreases very, very quickly. So we're going to brioche knit two together like this all the way around. Whoops. Make sure you get all three of those loops in there. And if you'll notice, I'm drawing through a little bit of extra, when I do the, the wrap and I draw through my yarn, I draw through a little bit extra just because I don't want, I want things to not be too puckered. I just want to keep it nice, keep my tension as even as I can. All right, all the way around. I'm nearly all the way around. And again, I'm just going to do one more brioche knit two together and then I'm ending and I would have had this pearl row. So I'm simply going to knit that per the instructions. All right, round two, remove the marker. And then with the main color, I'm going to just put this contrasting color, leave this forward. I'll deal with that later. Okay. And then we're just going to knit two together all the way around until we only have 10 stitches left. So that's pretty straightforward. I've knitted two together all the way around now until I just have the 10 stitches left. Okay. So I'm just going to follow the directions and cut my cut my yarn so that I have a roughly 12 inch tail, weave in the ends, and then I should have a really cool reversible beanie. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cut this a good long length and then I'll take it through to the other side, make sure it's secure and woven off, you know, and I'll weave this in down the corresponding color so it's truly a reversible hat. And I'll go ahead and, you know, do all my tails here and I'll show you what it looks like in a moment. Okay, I'm pretty happy with my new hat. I hope you are too. Show me your finished hats in either the Facebook or Ravelry group or both. I'd love to see them. And what I really like about this hat is it only takes about 100 yards of each color. Maybe a little bit more if you're going to fold up the brim, you know, and have the whole double thickness for that, you know, three or four inches. But like this one, for example, fits great. It's not too tall, but it's long enough to cover my ears. I really like it. Join us for our next knit along, which is gonna be also brioche. It's a simple brioche scarf, but we're gonna investigate further how to do decreases and increases. So watch for that next week. All right, thanks again for watching and supporting Pearl Together.